In this demo, I'm gonna create a action command messaging extension for a custom Microsoft Teams app. Action commands allow you to present your users with a modal pop-up to collect and display information and then process their interaction and send information back to Teams. Now, this demo is gonna require a valid Azure subscription in order to create a bot using the bot framework. However, if you don't have an Azure subscription, you can use the legacy bot framework registration portal. You refer to the docs in the Microsoft Teams docs uh, for more information on how to go about using the legacy uh, bot framework registration portal. The first step is to create a new Microsoft Teams bot for your messaging extension. So I'm gonna add a bot uh, to the Microsoft Teams app. Now this involves two steps. I'm gonna have to register the bot with Microsoft Azure's bot framework, and then I'm gonna add the bot uh, to our project code base. So I'm gonna start by going to my Azure portal and I'm inside of a resource group that I'm using for uh, creating my bot. And I'm gonna select add and then choose marketplace and then find the bot channel registration. There's the bot channel registration and then I'll select create. Now I need to give my bot a unique name so I'll call it my first bot and we're just gonna go ahead and keep adding numbers on the end until I see that one is available. There we go, we know that one's available. Uh, I'll leave the subscription, the resource group, the location, I'll leave all those the same. And I'm also gonna go through and set the pricing tier to F0, which is a free tier or has a very forgiving uh, free tier that we can use. Um, I'm gonna turn application insights off. And then for the messaging endpoint, I'm gonna enter in a temporary URL for a second. So we'll do replace.ngrok.io slash API slash messages. And the bot registration needs to know the endpoint of the web service where the bot is going to be implemented. And I'm using a tool called Ngrok because every uh, request uh, the bot has to be served up from has to be an HTTPS uh, and fully routable URL. But when we run it locally, it's on localhost. And this free tool called Ngrok is going to allow us to create a um, secure routable uh, endpoint that is gonna to redirect to our local host machine. Now, the challenge is, is that when it does that, it always replaces this first part of the subdomain uh, for the um, URL, the routable URL. Um, and it does that with a free version of Ngrok. Um, so every time you restart Ngrok, it's gonna give you a new random domain, uh, subdomain. And so you're gonna to have to come in and update uh, the URL for the messaging endpoint if you're using Ngrok to create this secure routable uh, URL. Um, the paid version of uh, Ngrok does have a uh, the ability for you to specify a, a reserved subdomain, um, and I have that just to simplify the development process for this demo. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name in there, um, which is a subdomain that I've reserved, and on my machine I've already installed the um, authentication key with my account. That's not required. You can use the free version. You just have to come back in and update the URL uh, for your messaging endpoint every time you um, restart uh, Ngrok. Okay, I'm also gonna let Microsoft uh, create the um, app ID and password. We'll go back to our registration. So then I'm gonna go ahead and select create. Now once my bot registration has been created or has been my um, uh, resource has been created, um, the first thing that we're gonna have to do for the bot to be able to talk to Teams is to uh, enable the Teams channel. So I'm gonna go find the channel for uh, Microsoft Teams and I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. So I'll click start and then I'll agree to the terms of service. And now we're gonna see that our uh, Teams channel has now been uh, enabled. So I'll come off the bot, go back to channels and you'll see that Microsoft Teams is now up and running. Now the other thing we need to do is I need to grab our bot's um, Azure AD app um, ID and I'm going to need to grab his secret. So I'm going to select this ID or if I just select manage right here, this will take me straight to the app. And what you'll see here on the app is there's my application ID. So I'm going to need this. So I'm going to put this in uh, this application ID. I'm going to put this for safekeeping just into a text file uh, here inside of uh, Visual Studio Code. Now I'm also going to need to create a secret for my bot. So I'm going to create a new client secret. I'll just select the default options and then I will copy my secret and put that inside of VS Code as well. We're going to need both of those in just a few minutes. So now we're ready to go create our Microsoft Teams app that's going to contain our bot and our messaging extension. So I'm going to create a new folder here called Learn MS Teams 
msgext for messaging extensions and then I'll go into uh, we'll jump into that folder I'm going to start the yeoman generator by just saying yo teams and yeoman's going to start by asking me a series of questions that I need to go to respond to to create our app so I'm going to name the solution messaging extension I'm going to put it in the current folder uh, the name is going to be the planet Planet messaging. Uh, company name, we'll leave that as a default. We'll take the default manifests, the default scaffolding. And then uh, it's going to ask us um, what features we want to add to the project. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck uh, tab and just say we're not going to add anything. So I'm going to show you how to do this manually. Um, where do we want to host it? I'll leave the default URL there. And do you want to show a loading indicator? The answer is no. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let Microsoft, uh, the Yeoman generator for Microsoft Teams to scaffold up our project, um, which is creating the folders, the files uh, that are needed for our project. And then it's gonna run NPM install to go ahead and install everything for our project. All right, now that it's installed everything, let's go ahead and open this up in VS Code. Now, the first thing we're gonna wanna make a change to is we wanna go through and, and update our environment variable settings uh, for the app ID and the app password uh, for the bot framework. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the ID and the password for the bot that we created or for the app ID that we created um, for our bot. All right, so we have done that and we'll just move things around a little bit to get a little bit better organized. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the subdomain for ingrok equal to um, the subdomain that I specified uh, earlier. Now let's go ahead and let's add the bot to our project. So I'm going to manually add the bot to this project. So what we're going to do is inside the source folder and inside the server subfolder for there, I'm going to create a new folder here called planet bot. And then I'm going to go add in a new file here called planet bot. It needs to be a TypeScript file. So we'll just do a .ts. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the, the following code. Now, now that we've gone through and we've have this, the basic structure for our bot. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go expose it as part of my app's API. So I'm gonna do that by going to our Teams app components and just drop that in uh, right here because this file is looked at by our web server to see what things it should automatically um, expose. Let's go into our server.ts file and I'm gonna add a couple import statements to this first. Now this is our web server that's gonna go load and initi initialize our bot. And the last step is to configure the bot framework and to call the bot when requests are received through the API messages path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the following code, so scroll to the bottom, to the very end to, new, to register our bot. So here I'm registering the bot and then I'm telling it to uh, respond to the API slash messages endpoint. So this code, what it's doing, the first section is gonna initialize the bot, uh, the bot framework adapter uh, with the Azure AD app credentials that were created when I registered the bot in the Azure portal. Um, these two properties uh, are pulled from the environment variables uh, for our application, which we set in the .env file um, previously. Um, you're gonna want to set, we have to set those two values as you saw me do earlier uh, in order for this to work. The last step is to configure the project to host my messaging extension and add it to the Microsoft Teams uh, at manifest. So that's going to be here inside of the manifest.json file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this compose extensions and I'm going to add in uh, an additional entry here. So what you can see here is this compose extensions is referring to a bot ID. That's the ID of the Azure AD app uh, that we created previously for our uh, bot. Then we have a couple commands here and you'll notice here that I have a command with the ID of a planet expander action. The type is an action. There's a title for it, a description, where it can be used, etc. So now the next step is to actually code up our action command, which is going to happen um, inside of the bot. 